वेलकम यूर वॉचिंग वी द पीपल एम रिशिका बारू आज द गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रपोज न्यू कम्प्लीट ओवरहॉल ऑफ द क्रिमिनल जस्टिस सिस्टम अंडर द भारतीय न्याय संहिता सम सेक्शन ऑफ द रोड सेफ्टी एक्ट हैव ऑल्सो सीन अ सी चेंज बट फॉलोइंग अ वेरी ड्रोमेटिक प्रोटेस्ट बाई ट्रक एसोसिएशन दैट गॉट लाइफ इज वी नो इट टू अ स्टैंड स्टिल इन सेवरल पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री द गवर्नमेंट हैज नाउ पुट द न्यू अमेंडमेंट्स ऑन होल्ड before we get into the larger debate let's break down the details of what has happened under the new law there were many changes that were made specifically to the hit and run cases which roughly account for around 15% of all road fatalities in our country under the new law a jail term of up to 10 years or a fine of 7 lakh rupees was introduced if a truck driver flees an accident spot or fails to report an accident to the authorities the indian penal court the erstwhile indian penal court the punishment for this offence was only up to 2 years of imprisonment so truckers of course were upset they said that this is a law that was passed without any consultation with the stakeholders they also said that this would expose drivers to exploitation if they are unfairly accused further many also said that they feared being lynched at the accident site if they didn't flee from there the law of course like i said has now been put on hold there'll be a wider deliberation and consultation with the stakeholders before these amendments are reconsidered but this entire episode has once again raised several questions about the state of indian roads and our safety this is remember a story that concerns you and it concerns me as pedestrians and as drivers let me put this entire story in context for you in terms of the data According to the United Nations, India ranks number one in global road fatalities globally. The data that we have exposes some very alarming trends. Forget the UN data for a moment. Just let's just look at the Indian government's own data. There are over 1.6 lakh people who were killed in around four and a half lakh accidents, and this is government data for 2022. Further. over half of all the road crash deaths that took place on national highways and state highways despite the fact that national and state highways remember make up for only 5% of the total road network on an average and if you look at the law of averages and you look at this data it's really startling india witnesses an average of 1200 road accidents every single day on an average there are 19 people i repeat 19 people dying every hour in our country because of road accidents as staggering as these averages are what's worse is that there has only been a further worsening of this statistic because there was a 12% increase in road accidents in 2022 as compared to 2021 Now the government claims that India's road network has grown by 59% under the Modi government. We now have the second largest road network after the United States. But remember, the second largest road network in the world is also the most unsafe road network in the world. The question therefore we ask on the show tonight is what's the highway to safer roads in India? And joining me on the broadcast we have a very special uh, panel joining us on the broadcast today. uh it is uh, my privilege to introduce to you ashutosh shivasa he's an advocate of the supreme court navdeep asija he's a traffic advisor of the punjab government i have rajinder kapoor he's a president of the all india motor and good transport association harman singh siddhu who's an accident victim he is somebody who has been through a terrible road accident uh over two decades ago and has been wheelchair ridden since then and he exposes a very interesting element of the entire road safety issue in our country we also have shantanu bhaseen who's a family member of a hit and run uh, victim who now uh, is also a trustee with the muskan road safety ngo i thank you all very much for being with us on the show um and we also have a, a very vibrant audience with us and be the people this evening uh, there are a lot of law students and people who are connected very closely with road safety and road and transportation in our country so to begin with uh, you know if i can just come to you ashutosh shrivastava is somebody who understands yes. the law uh, you know there there were some very stringent provisions that were proposed under the new law uh, which have of course been put on hold right now 
and uh, you know we do need some very strict laws as far as road safety in our country is concerned because look at the statistics that i have just spe uh, spelled out yes uh see uh, what i would like to say here is that in in uh, india as you uh, rightly stated the number of uh, accidents and also the number of people dying and we are almost uh, leading in the entire world uh into such kind of uh, fatal accidents and deaths hmm. and in many of these uh, cases you know when the vehicle driver runs away from the spot the person who dies or is injured is not given proper medication and the person dies also and on the other hand suppose the vehicle which hit that person hmm. is insured under the third party insurance and uh, accordingly the insurance company could have paid under the msct motor accident company uh, 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 tribunal could have paid uh, to the victim or the family hmm. but it is not paid because the vehicle is unknown and hmm. the person who was driving is unknown and consequently the insurance policy is right. also not known and it is not claimed by the victims or the victim's family so ultimately it it was a loss in the financial way also because the earning member okay. if, uh, uh, dying in the okay. family was also a loss secondly okay. that these kind of accidents were not properly reported and we have seen the data across the globe like in us also these are you know there are stringent laws in uh, other countries like uh, singapore uh, you know sri lanka yes. they have also increased the punishment from 2 years to 5 years to put a uh, you know law and order in place and see there was also misuse of the law because yes. it was under punished so many a times uh, many accidents were uh, you know planned also okay. we have seen you in know, many of the you, cases you raise ashutosh shivas so, a very important point when you say that this hit and run law actually is also very important because uh, uh you know it's 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 imperative in a certain sense uh for uh, insurance and compliance later on to take place so you know in order to fix accountability and culpability and actually make sure that the culprit is booked uh, is essential for for further procedures to take place so that's a very interesting point that you make i'm going to ask a couple of follow up questions on the hit and run law and then move to the larger angle of road safety we also have shantanu bhasin who's a family member of a hit and run victim who's also associated with an ngo joining us uh, shantanu bhasin how do you look at this entire story well it's a step in the right direction i would say that but laws have to be strict the process has to be just that is what i see is lacking here now as you have pointed out i myself have been a victim of such a scenario so i definitely want stricter laws against anyone who has engaged in hit and run scenario however we do know from a field work that it's always the bigger vehicle which is put on fault Mm. which is why you see these truckers protesting because they do know that there is going to be no process of investigation proper investigation and they are going to be blamed for the accident otherwise can you explain the reason why they are being protesting without even the law being put in place why mm. have they already start protesting because one thing is there there is rampant corruption in the overall scenario related to road safety and many other sectors associated with that to it lacks the process of investigation which is much needed it's not always the bigger vehicle which is at fault hmm. smaller vehicle can also be at the fault another thing i would like to point out is that uh, i guess it's not only applicable to to the truck unions which are protesting against this law it's not only applicable on truckers but it's also applicable on two wheeler riders on car vehicle owners on any other person who's using motorized transport on the road hmm. if he's engaged in hit and run he would be uh, put to task because of this law so while this law is welcome i think there needs to be a proper process of investigation in place which should include forensic and scientific elements into it right now we are lacking that completely okay so you're saying that the the law that was proposed is welcome but it still has several lacunae that in a certain sense need to be uh, that that need to be looked at uh, you know i also want to get in perspective from stakeholders so there was of course a protest after which the government very quickly within 48 hours almost has put this law on hold uh, rajinder kapoor is the president of the all india motor and good transport association if i can come to you 
how do you look at this new law? What were your main problems? Remember, hit and run is just a very small part of road safety. Like I said, the statistics show that about 15%, it's not a small statistic, but comparatively a small statistic, only 15% of uh, fatalities are due to hit and run cases. What were your main problems with uh, you know, the government increasing the jail term and the fine? Uh, good, good evening. Madam, I just want to know, you have given the data. Uh, how many accident uh, the data you have given taken place in the uh, highways and in the city? You have not clarified that. There are multiple reasons to uh, run away. Because if uh, accident taken place in the highways, there are many villages and uh, many places where driver is abandoned. Hmm. And uh, जो भीड़ होती है वो ड्राइवर को मार देती है आदमी को जिसको द पर्सन वो हिट आइदर बाय हिज फॉल्ट और द बिगर वन फॉल्ट द पब्लिक लोकल पब्लिक ड्राइवर अगर वहां रुक जाता है तो ड्राइवर को छोड़ती नहीं hmm. पता चला जिसको चोट लगी उसको तो इतनी चोट नहीं लगी बट ड्राइवर के साथ बड़ा हादसा हो जाता है देन who uh, if uh, government fixes any responsibility towards drivers on highway and abhi main aapko sorry i am not uh, that much good in english speaking uh, i am very uh, no uh, sir nice. it's fine you can you can please make your uh, point in hindi no problem abhi hum parso parso agra gaye the hum apni car mein the madam there are multiple places jahan par ki beech mein se ekdam se other no मतलब कोई सेंस के लेफ्ट साइड से आ रहा है कोई राइट साइड से आ रहा है कोई भी कहीं से भी कहीं भी घुस जाता है तो देन व्हाट विल द बिगर वन से उसकी क्या है अगर आप थाने में कंप्लेन लिखवाने चले जाएं तो थाने वाले कंप्लेन नहीं लिखते कई केसेस ऐसे देखे गए जहां पर कि ड्राइवर को इसलिए मार दिया गया क्योंकि उसकी गाड़ी ढाबे पे खड़ी है और कोई गाड़ी कोई मोटरसाइकिल आके या स्कूटर आकर के उसमें घुस गया या कार घुस गई तो गांव वालों ने उसको मार दिया नासिक का एक केस है हमारे एक अच्छे ट्रांसपोर्टर मित्र हैं उनकी गाड़ी को वहां पे ड्राइवर को जिंदा जला दिया गया हु विल पे फॉर दैट हु विल बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर दैट और एक चीज और मैं इसमें कंफर्म कर दूं कि यह अभी तक जो ये ट्रांसपोर्ट एजुटेशन जो भी हुआ है दिस एजुटेशन वॉज स्पॉन्सर्ड बाई ड्राइवर्स ओनली किसी भी ट्रांसपोर्ट एसोसिएशन ने very so, very important right. points that you've raised one is that you know the mindset so to speak is always one where uh, you know the fault or the blame is squarely placed on the driver of quote unquote the bigger vehicles which is why we saw truckers come out in such large numbers uh, in this protest the other very important point that you have raised is the concept of mob justice a lot of times uh, hit and run or uh, you know drivers tend to flee the accident site almost immediately because of the fear of being lynched we have uh, uh, gul hasan rizvi he's a bus operator uh, from delhi he's with us in the studios as well uh, you had a point to make what kya hota hai aise typically in cases mein ji boliye aapki awaaz aa rahi hai ma'am main bus operator bhi raha hu aur driver bhi raha hu जो आजकल जो एक्सीडेंट होते हैं वो ज़्यादातर जो है दूसरे की गलती से होते हैं ड्राइवर जो घर से अपना निकलता है तो वो अपना दिमाग को शांत करके निकलता है और ये सोचता है कि मैं जैसे घर से सुबह ठीक ठाक निकला हूँ ऐसे ही शाम को अपने बच्चों के पास पहुँचूँ ड्राइवर एक स्कूटी ड्राइवर भी है बाइक ड्राइवर भी है कार ड्राइवर भी है तो हर आदमी को हम लोगों को ये सोचना चाहिए कि अगर हम अपनी गाड़ी को चला रहे हैं तो उसको स्पीड कम स्पीड में चलाएँ और अपने ध्यान से चलाएँ उसको ज़्यादातर ध्यान दें और जो लिंचिंग का कारण ये होता है कि किसी भी बड़े व्हीकल से एक्सीडेंट हुआ है तो पब्लिक क्या करती है पब्लिक उसको मतलब ये नहीं कि पेशेंट को ले जाए जिसको चोट लगी है उसको ले जाए उसको ले जाने के बजाय ड्राइवर के ऊपर ही चिपट जाते हैं इतनी देर में चाहे वो दमी तोड़ दे मौके पे दम तोड़ देता है और ड्राइवर को इतना बुरी तरीके से पीटते हैं तो इसमें कानून का संशोधन हो मतलब सरकार से मैं यही कहना चाहूंगा कि भाई ड्राइवर कोई भी गलती नहीं करता है ड्राइवर जब घर से निकलता तो ये सोच के नहीं निकलता कि मैं गलती करूँ गलती अचानक ही हो जाती है 
किस कारण से हुई उसको उसे एक्सीडेंट बोला जाता है बट ये जो आप लिंचिंग का पॉइंट बोल रहे हैं विच राजेंद्र कपूर इज आल्सो हाइलाइटेड आई थिंक इज एन इम्पोर्टेंट वन दैट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स दे फ्ली बिकॉज ऑफ द फेयर ऑफ यू नो बीइंग बीटन अप और लिंच्ड बाय अ मॉब ऑफ पीपल एंड यू नो लाइक यू हर्ड गुल हसन से दैट फ्रॉम देयर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इट्स आल्सो द फैक्ट दैट अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स पीपल जस्ट टेक द लॉ इनटू देयर ओन हैंड्स यू नो एंड वांट जस्टिस सर्वड then and there instead of uh, you know actually helping the accident victim uh, i also you know want to talk about the other aspect of this before we bring in uh, uh, navdeep asija into the conversation to sort of broaden the scope of this entire discussion i want to quickly get in a word from um, harman sindhu he is a road accident victim he had a near death experience several years ago he's been wheelchair bound since that accident harman आप अपने एक्सीडेंट के बारे में टेल अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर एक्सीडेंट व्हाट हैपेंड विद यू एंड हाउ लॉन्ग डिड इट टेक यू टू एक्चुअली गेट हेल्प सी माय रोड एक्सीडेंट टुक प्लेस इन ईयर 1996 अक्टूबर ऑफ 1996 दैट्स नियरली 27 इयर्स बैक सो फर्स्ट आई हैवंट सीन अ बिग चेंज सिंस दैट टाइम टिल डेट right as as far as road safety is concerned there what, are very what uh, happened in your case points. can you tell us exactly so what happened yeah, in your case coming coming back to the yeah so i love uh, going up hill in the mountains i live in chandigarh which is very close to the himalayan range so i along with my friends have gone up hill that's how we term it so during one of, of such visits uh the car rolled down into a gorge because part of the road was eroded it was hmm totally not there so the car fell down i was sitting in the back seat so as a passenger uh, i had a responsibility as well yes but uh we were four friends everybody else thank god was perfectly fine hmm. but i sustained a spinal injury hmm. so it took us around two and a half hours from chandigarh to reach that place a very nice place called train for lake in himachal pradesh but it took us more than 12 hours to come back from there right and it all the first uh lift that we got was from a truck a truck driver who was the one who stopped for us mm. so the whole uh, hit and run thing is about you know blaming the truckers but yes. he was the one who helped and stopped always thankful to him and then it was a small pickup third vehicle was a van which was supposed to be an ambulance in which uh Six feet tall person cannot lie down straight. So everybody knew that a person with a spinal injury has to lie down straight. But the only option we had was to reach a tertiary care hospital, that is a specialized hospital. Hmm. So it took us more than twelve hours to reach back to Chandigarh. So we changed three vehicles. Yes. And took so long. So that is one important aspect. So in in this whole scenario of road safety. there are two things one is the authorities and second is the road user yes so whenever it comes to the road users uh let it I be the motor two, vehicle act two important takeaways and i and i want to take this to uh, navdeep asija as well because you know while of course we we've talked extensively about the hit and run law which is now like i said the new provisions have been put on hold hit and run is one one constituent one element of road safety that has highlighted a larger problem mm-hmm. navdeep asija you know look at the story of harman singh sidhu a 6 feet 6 feet tall man 12 hours later find some kind of a makeshift ambulance in which he can't lie down straight despite a spinal injury this also highlights the fact that we have unsafe roads you have uh, mr rajinder kapoor who made the point of you know expressways that have been laid down in our country but they still have these ad hoc entries and exits where you have people coming in all over so it's also about the planning with which these roads are being made and what kind of emergency services are available despite this vast road network that we have these are larger issues that need to be addressed yeah <clears throat> yeah certainly i mean um, you know when it comes to uh, the road accidents so it has a three important components one is the road second is the road user and third is the vehicle so just framing the laws only for the human error uh, may not help actually you know uh, and uh, since uh, based on the road safety science which has emerged all the developed nation has actually accepted that we have to design our system considering these human error this human nature unfortunately this is uh, not happening and we are formulating the laws based on the intuition you know not, not in a single data or any learning from the developed nation is supporting such kind of uh, you know strict punishment 
so the different countries have a different uh, you know scenarios and instead of learning from there we we are again burning our own fingers i mean you know i can give but you no, the example but there is there is a larger question about compliance so if you have stricter laws it would ensure stricter compliance but i think yes. that there has to be a larger infrastructure that has to support it as well yes yes i mean i'm i just simple take the example of a section 135 of a motor vehicle act which was introduced in 1988 which says that you know our highways are supposed to have a rest area and we are supposed to do the complete crash investigation yes so the entire country you know not more than 500 crash investigation and you simply mentioned that how many accidents are taking place yes you you can imagine so, you know that so, we don't have any experts in our country and we are that subjective is not even being taught in our universities yes. i mean in a proper way so wherever there is a in terms of uh, you know some investigations are happening that is only for the claim compensation by the insurance company yes again that is not a technical evaluation that who is at fault okay because If I have I, I have I have limited time I have limited time left on the show I know Ashutosh you want to come in very quickly I have audience members make your point very quickly go ahead uh, hello my name is Persing I'm from from like faculty of law Delhi University I'm a law student and I want to say that making law is one thing and implementing and enforcing it is another thing the BNS provisions are very relevant as per my observation I have uh, saw the provisions over there. और जैसा कि मैंने देखा उसमें डेफिनेशन बोलती है हु एवर कॉजेज डेथ ऑफ एनी पर्सन विदाउट हु एवर कॉजेज डेथ ऑफ एनी पर्सन बाय रैश एंड नेग्लिजेंट डाइविंग एंड मे एस्केप and escape by uh, hmm. without reporting so to the police official so you think you think we need stringent provisions no no i am th- i am taking on it uh, without reporting to a police official or magistrate uh, and uh, soon after he escape it hmm. and the sh- punishment there there is total controversy over the punishment and the implementation what's your point how like my point is that ki law banana एक बात है और जो लॉ को इंप्लीमेंट करना है वो दूसरी बात okay. है जस्टिस एक मिनट एक मिनट वो जो बीएनएस जो प्रोविजन है बोलो भारतीय न्याय संहिता वो न्याय की बात करता है जस्टिस तभी इंसान को मिल सकता है जब दोनों चीजें होंगी लॉ का इन्फोर्समेंट प्लस लॉ बनाना ओके ग्रेट पॉइंट गुड इवनिंग माई नेम इज हार्दिक दिमानिया एंड वट माई फ्रेंड जस्ट सेट सो ड्यूरिंग माई स्टेंट एट लॉ कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया वाइल यू वर डिस्कसिंग दीज लॉज सो वी वर वरिंग that when a person causes accident so at that point of time he is in a state of dilemma like he just wants to run away and like rajender sir said so in that case there are two elements first is he is causing accident accident second is that he is not reporting it to the police officials let's say he escapes from there and later on uh, like in a short span of time he reports it to the police so officer so there should be that provision. i think okay then uh, i have a minute left on the show very quickly very very important point that you made that if it's reported later it should not be counted as a hit and run quote and yeah it is not uh, counted yes, that way you also have a point to make go ahead why the final verdict of any hit and run case takes so long despite having full well, that's evidence that's what it all boils down to doesn't it ashutosh shrivastav i'll give you a yes. very quick 30 seconds to respond ultimately it all yes. boils down to the justice system doesn't it so just now one my friend said about reporting it hmm. so it is basically reporting within the reasonable time yes. now if we see the supreme court's judgment in 2014 uh where uh, in, in the case of surinder singh versus state of haryana hmm. it clarified that no sooner i mean so it should be uh, informed sooner means within the reasonable time yes so within well, whenever the next hours, i suppose whenever within, the next yes. police station so, appears on on yes, the highway yes, yes, or, or the road yes. or whatever and i want to yes apart from that so that will be considered as a re- okay. reasonable time and yes. that will be considered then second two points more i want to highlight one that my one friend said that making laws for human error hmm. see first of all i want to clarify that human error is not an offense here also see it we are talking about negligence yes. see negligence is something so, different you, negligence you, you make, has to be you make be an important point but so, i'm going to have to cut yes. you short rajendra kapoor i have 10 seconds left on the show rajendra kapoor thirdly mera kehna ye hai ki do baatein hain infrastructure banaya jata hai to usko rules and regulation bhi banane chahiye usko follow karne ke liye और दूसरा क्यों नहीं गवर्नमेंट एक हेल्पलाइन नंबर पूरी इंडिया के लिए जारी कर देती जिससे कि ड्राइवर अगर किसी से गलती हो गई देखिए रोड पे चलेगा जानबूझ के कोई नहीं मारता yes. तो वो उस नंबर okay. में इन्फॉर्म कर देगी वेरी गुड पॉइंट वेरी गुड पॉइंट दीज आर प्रैक्टिकल सोल्यूशन आई एम अफ्रेड आई एम कम्प्लीटली आउट ऑफ टाइम इट्स एन इशू लाइक आई सेट विच कंसर्न यू एंड मी वील कंटिन्यू टू टॉक अबाउट सेवरल सच इशूज ऑन वी दीपल इफ यू ट्यून टू नाइट थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग